25 minute game but I don't think that this is going to last too long based on this opponent's ratings two, there are 2000 2011, two, wow, 2102 for long game, rapid, 2011-1, 1836 for this turtle thing. <coughs> so this player is um, a high rated player. So, well, what do you do? What do you do? It's almost I've gone into creative mode now where I'm going well there's no real point because I'm just going to lose they're just going to come out with some magical moves let's have a look at the magical moves that come out from this higher rated player he's not 1836 we've just looked he's a 2011 and 2102 so for blitz and rapid very high very high indeed well, what's the scores on the doors? I didn't make a move. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, got options. We can bring the bishop out. He takes the pawn. We push on. Let's just do that. It's almost like a mirror. So he does capture and he's also got the two on one situation going on here. So I'm going to push on to his bishop. And just grab here. And the queen, oh, I thought the queen was going to come there then. Did they miss a trick? Did they move too fast? Or not? I doubt it very much. So we'll castle and wait for the impending danger. But I do believe the Queen should have been going here to put pressure here. Maybe they would have been out of tempo because we could still castle anyway. Oh, he's going for lazy man. So he's going for lazy man, just throwing stuff out, making it look like he doesn't know what he's doing. So if we can try and get some semblance of just nice basic chess supporting the knight. Now he's attacking the bishop. So he's moving real quick. So he's he's basically like a master at those quick games yeah 2011 and 2102 so we can expect the quick moves if we go here bishop still defending let's just bring the bishop to the knight maybe if i go slow maybe that'll get on the nerves because they're really good at the fast so maybe their long play thinking isn't as good sometimes it works maybe the knight's looking to develop now I just don't know so I'm just sitting waiting for the magic queen's got the knight so we could take the knights just developing the queen Queen's going to be sat there, Bishop's then going to be looking to do some type of situation like this. Could just bring the knight here, get the pawn here because the bishop takes. Could bring the queen here, attacking the knight twice. Let's do that, get to his king area. If he moves too fast, then we can get a checkmate her. With support from the bishop. But he hasn't done so, we're not going to get that. Bishop probably comes back. He can move tonight, but we get the checkmate her. blocked off so we can take the knight pawn can take or he takes with the queen don't think he'll take with the queen but then this knight's unprotected if we do do that so 
So we could move the knight first. Bring it around attacking the bishop. Bring it around attacking the knight. Discover check on the bishop. I'm kind of trying to avoid the pawn going into there, but maybe I don't need to worry too much because maybe that's opening up this diagonal, but the bishop doesn't have that di diagonal. <laughs> so that's all the creative stuff out of the way. Let's look logically now. Logically, I can take his knight. If his queen takes, then I can take his queen. But then he takes my knight. So we don't really want to do that. So that's the logic. Logic basic bishop here. Hmm. <laughs> Just move the knight. Attack the knight. Knight takes. Queen takes. Probably doesn't. Just escapes his knight. Oh, he just takes this bishop here, opening up the pawn. Mm, maybe I shouldn't worry so much about opening that pawn. It's going to be isolated. Oh, let's just do that. Let's do that. Opens up the rook. Attacking this square. We've got the queen attacking there as well. Did I take long enough then? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> Let's go here. Okay, so he's attacking with the pawn. I'm going to take my time again. <laughs> when you take your time against speed merchants, it really does get on the nerves. They can't change their habits overnight. Could bring the bishop here. Could bring it back. Don't want to block my knight though, so I could bring it here to just come back here. Go there, maybe there, and then look for a cheapy here, but that's that takes too long. So we'll go with this one first. We must be getting on the nerves now. These are nicely in the back at the moment, not doing anything. That's good. We're still down the dark square bishop as well, targeting here. Yeah, so we've got time to just move the queen here. Obviously he's got his queen, he can come there. So he's blocked himself, blocked his dark square bishop. So just move here like this, move too quick there, but never mind. It's probably just going to come blasting down here like this. Got a little cheeky touch on the king here. So we must take long on the next move. We moved here a bit quick with the queen. Okay, so he's gone for that. Would be nice if we could just give that king a touch. Just to let him know we're in the party. So we don't have to take the bishop. We can just move our queen. Bishop's got there and there. This pawn's got protection on. Queen can come to this side. That's all a bit creative and arty, isn't it? So let's just take the bishop off. It's okay doing preemptive stuff. Speed does not impress me. This player doesn't know me, obviously. Right, so do we develop the knight? Queen opposite the king. Must be a magic boom move. Queen here. Get the knight off the back. Let's get the knight off the back. He's still got a bit of time to start moving his pieces. Get the knight up, knight up, bit of a space there. That's one, two, I'm going to get blocked off I think with the pawn here. 
I don't think we're taking long enough yet still with our moves we need to take a bit longer really to get on the nerves gotta wind them up okay so the, yeah the night's out so we've got one two but this knight's gonna come and attack the bishop could bring the bishop here couldn't we just gotta jam in that in Am I taking long enough yet? No, I don't feel like I am. So they're actually plus one out of all of that at the moment. Just going to bring the knight up. So that's one potentially going here. It's pretty obvious really, isn't it? Then owning the files if we can with the rooks. Queen's in. Yeah, so he's wanting to spoil the party. He's wanting to protect this area here. So I'll try and own a file now with the rook. He's moving quick, so he's wanting to own the file as well. Pawn's protected by the queen currently. Bishop could go here, bishop could go there. Knight can still go here, but there's no dice here. There's no point putting it on the rim if we don't need to. Nice juicy square here, it's just that we're not going to win that we can bring the bishop here his bishop and his queen and his rook are on there but it stops the pawn from pushing down doesn't it mm -hmm, because of the pin it could be something <laughs> do we just push the rook up first and he pushes down onto our queen. Go for the exchange. Or oh, we could attack the queen now, couldn't we? Where we're sending the queen to. Let's just attack the queen now. We like attacking the queens. People don't seem to want to exchange. He is plus one, so you'd think he probably would do. Well, we've got quite far against this. Um, forget that 18 thing. There, 20. This 2000 play. I think we played a, recently the computer, the 2000 level on the com computer. We haven't done too bad there. We played a recent um, 2100 or something or the other, and we didn't do too bad there. We did lose, but only by the smallest of margins. So, again, not too, not too bad, not too shabby. And so the speed merchant's off, so he's got our rooks. So we need to be either going here or here. He's just going to drop this pawn, so we'd have to go here, open up the pawns a bit. Yeah, I don't really want to protect with the rooks because we'll lose a pawn. Bad position. So he does take, let's capture here. Just keeping it simple, there's nothing nothing magical here, and this is against a very high rated player, um, so I'm quite pleased with what we're doing at the moment. So the, only the rook is defending, he's now attacking our pawn, our rook can come across and just maybe defend, don't really want it defending, but hey, what them's the apples. He's obviously going to exchange the rook, oh, because he was going to get our pawn rook away from there. So let's attack this pawn. I don't think anything can protect there. So now he's going. I think he might. Well, I'm not saying anything. I thought he would have challenged our rook to get this rook over here so that then his bishop can take the pawn. But he's not done that. So he must have some other quirky method. So attacking the bishop can attack his rook. again though if we do that then this rook has to come over here so I think we are going to lose this pawn I don't want to get too bent out of shape over it let me see and plus my king doesn't have a fly square either if we bring the rook and attack he doesn't have to take he probably goes back but if he does take 
night takes, then his rook comes here, he's pinning the knight. So then, well, not pinning it really per se, because we can come here and then we're attacking his bishop as well. I don't think he will take, but we'll see. If he does, we've got, got this sort of movement here. Maybe we can push this pawn up. Probably going to get jammed in, I think. The knight's probably going to get trapped at the top. But it's all probably. It's the, oops, it is. Right, so he's come there. So we can expect the rook to come here. So we can go and attack the bishop and the rook at the same time. So the rook's down is taking going to be taking the pawns here, um, but not necessarily. Oh well, yeah, he's going to like I say, this pawn's going, isn't it? So before I take the bishop, do I need to take the bishop? Can I get a better position? I don't really think I can. As I take his pawn takes, then I move over here to protect this pawn. He comes across to attack this pawn. Yeah, that doesn't look too good because he's going to have a central central pawn ramping down. Ah, <sighs> dear. So we equalise for a moment, but we knew this pawn was going. Can I not do something? Can I not do something? Can't do anything, can I really? Just gonna have to take the bishop and double his pawns here. Hmm. <laughs> Just take my time. Take my time. Take the bishop. Pawn takes. is the worst one. I think we have to go and defend this pawn. Then he comes across. He's got his double pawns there. To maybe block this pawn. Make some space for my king. Fight square. Oh, a bit tricky, bit icky. It's a bit icky. It's a bit icky. Can't do anything. I'm trying to see if there's better games anywhere, but, but there isn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, my coffee's getting cold. There isn't better games. Double pawns. Mm, I think I've definitely got to save this. I've got to save that pawn, haven't I? I've got to come here. Go there. And just push these up, I think.
getting sticky. It's getting sticky. I'm, I'm going to run out of moves, aren't I? So it's going to have two passes that I can't. Mm, okay, fair enough. I'm, I've been zugs wanged. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've been zugged. If I go back, if I come to the side, he comes down, gets these pawns. Oh well, let's do that. And then he pushes the pawn. Let's do that. Let's push on here. He might be getting carried away and forget to take. Oh, he does take. Damn, okay, let's resign. Good shout. That's not bad against the 2100. Gonna have a quick analysis on there. Because sometimes these higher level players don't really like to lose against people, especially people lower than themselves. So let me just have a quick shifty. Yeah, that's alright. That's okay. It looks human enough. Seven inaccuracies, two blunders. That'll work for me. Well played.